Hi everyone. For the snakes and ladders board, we need to draw the snake. So today is going to be the cobra. Uh, it's, it's a, it looks a bit tricky to draw, but if we break it down into sections, I want you to have a go because it looks quite good at the end. So um, I'd like you to have a go. Okay. So this is the cobra I draw. I drew the other day. But then I realise I need to show you how to do it because it looks a bit tricky and it just takes a little bit more time. So if you look, if you observe, it's made up of a kind of a grid system. So the top of his head has got this grid radiating out from his eye. That's the most important bit. Then there's this highlight here on the side of his body. Uh, obviously the, the the main bit of his body is this creamy colour, which is this the colour of the cardboard. So that's just a long thing. And then the side bits underneath have got this same grid system going on. So it goes down and then it follows the line of here, it follows that down as well here. And then the same on the other side, it follows the shape of the outside of his body okay and then it goes across like this so when we first draw it we're going to just start off with a grid system okay so um, it helps if your piece of paper or cardboard is going to be the similar size to your snake because then you know how big to make it okay so he's he's going to be up here so that's the top of his head um, and then I'm going to start by doing a round shape at the top coming around here just look looking at this constantly and trying to replicate what you see so that sort of shape first and just have a quick look are you happy with that shape well yeah it's not bad the only thing is my tongue is going to go into that horrible bit of cardboard, but anyway, never mind. Um, then down just about here is the start of his body. So I'm just going to mark that, have a look. Am I happy with the position? Yes. That comes down a bit. Then if we go back to here, it comes round. Right, this bit here, decide where you want that position to be. I'm going to do it there. That's that sort of shape. Uh, continue his body down. Because you're only sketching, don't do it too heavy, otherwise you'll never be able to rub it out. So just sketch that body in like this. Continue that down. Right, and then about here is where it finishes. And but this bit round his back. Continues a bit. So I'm only going to show you this top half. The bottom half is is a bit easier. Okay. So I'm kind of happy. If I look at that and look at that, I'm kind of happy with the shapes. And you want the body to be the same width all the way down. Right, and now you need to observe this grid that I was talking about. So we're going to do the start of one of the grids following this line here. Keep going down. Keep going down. That's like that. Um, and then I'm going to do that side. So again, do the grid marks. Obviously make try and make them the same distance apart. Okay. Um, and then the, the grid goes the other way to follow the body like this. So we're going to do one going down here, 
design one that is going into the, that shape and you just about get another one in here and then where this head shape is here is where you follow that line of the grid there So, I'm not entirely sure that's right actually, in fact it's not, but this is where it doesn't matter now, rub it out, what I've realised is the grid is going the other way, but it's okay to make mistakes, that's the whole point of persevering with art is, well, everything in life, you've got to get it right. So, that is right. This grid needs to, because the curve of the shape of the snake is going like that. So, that's where we're going wrong. So, we need to carry on that curve. See, that line is going there. That line continues, that line continues, so that it will look right in the end. See, that's better because it looks like it's curving round now. Um, and then the lines on his body, they're quite easy because it's making his body look look curved that way. So you do those lines going that way. Okay. So that's the base of his basics of his body and then his eye. You just need to try and it's in the middle of his body, so it's roughly in the middle there. There's the line going up, and then his, you know, his tongue is here, and you want the eye to be here. Okay, so you've got a little cross, and then you can do this circly, overly shape, and then his pupil. I was cute calling it an iris in the other videos. It's a pupil. Okay, so that's his eye position. Um, and then what's interesting is that the grid radiates out from his eye. So I'm going to... But you want the top of the head to look rounded. So you're going round like this. Then it's going off. This one's going round. Like this. Okay. Just about to get another one in there. So that looks about right. Um, and then the next job is to um, obviously, well, you've got to do these rounded bits. Um, so I'm going to follow the shape of his eye. Round like that. So you're following the shape of the round eye. Okay, so when you're at that point, just draw your tongue in. Um, Kind of happy with that. Um, now, to make things awkward, the snake has this shape, this this, co this coloured bit on the inside. Um, so, I don't know to worry about that yet or not. You could draw that circle in. Let's do that then. Right, we're going to draw that bit in there. Just so we know roughly where it's going to be. 
and okay so we've got that going on um, then the next bit is to then do start doing your shading so you want to make this body bit darker and don't colour anything in on this bit or this bit leave that till last because those are your highlights so you can now get a um, fine liner pen um, that one blue, felt tip pen black biro if you've got it anything like that and start drawing in the black bit so okay just done the eye and then you can start to do all I did was start just drawing in the lines um, and on when on, on this bit obviously they're all sharp edges but on the real snake they start going a bit rounded so you can make each one start to look a bit rounded okay So that when you finish this bit, it will just be all black. But don't put any on the body, um, and don't put any on this edge yet. Um, so the colours I used was the black pen. Um, I've got a grey felt tip pen and a dark brown felt tip pen. Um, so just start building up your shadows gradually so you do the top of the head round here round here and leave the light bits alone until the end then you can see what you're doing okay hope that helps good luck <laughs>